From ancient forests, a green giant rises to challenge an age of plastic and carbon. As the shadows of air pollution and industrial waste lengthen across the globe, China is turning to bamboo as a central force in its own green revolution. The journey begins in sprawling groves where humble stalks are harvested and sent directly into the heart of high technology. Inside these facilities, the quiet rustle of leaves gives way to the precise hum of automated lines, the flash of lasers, and the tireless motion of robotic arms. Here, a simple plant is meticulously reshaped into the materials of tomorrow. No longer confined to its role as a cultural icon, bamboo now forms the backbone of a vast array of eco-conscious products. It becomes the sustainable straws we sip from, the toothbrushes we use daily, and the activated charcoal that purifies our world. It is even engineered into durable materials for modern construction. Each year, millions of these items emerge from the production lines, generating immense profits and solidifying China's dominance in the global pursuit of ecological industry. The question remains, how did this unassuming grass evolve into a cornerstone of 21st century technology? A single plant stands against a global tide of waste. Every year, our world generates a staggering 300 million tons of plastic, and nations like China find themselves at the epicenter of this pollution crisis. In this struggle, bamboo has emerged as a powerful ally, a cornerstone of the nation's strategy for a sustainable future. Vast forests now stretch across more than 6 million hectares, with billions of stalks blanketing the southern landscapes on a scale unmatched anywhere on Earth. But this is more than just a renewable resource. It is a titan of economic value. The industry built around bamboo products alone drives over 3 billion US dollars in yearly exports. From a familiar, fast-growing plant, bamboo has been elevated into the engine of a green economy. It lightens the immense burden of plastic waste while strengthening China's global position in the delicate art of blending nature with technology. It grows toward the sun, a symbol of life itself. Yet in the shadows of history, it was twisted into an instrument of fear. Before bamboo became an icon of the green industry, it was bound to a much darker legacy. During the Second World War, harrowing accounts from prisoners and surviving soldiers painted a grim picture. They described the plant being used as a chilling tool for extracting information, forging a haunting new identity for this natural resource. While the precise details of these events remain debated and official evidence is scarce, the stories alone reveal a disturbing side to a plant long revered as a symbol of vitality. Regardless of the historical debate, bamboo has since embarked on a profoundly different journey, finding its place in our modern world. The forest floor trembles, not with the thud of an ax, but the hum of a new era. In the southern forests of China, bamboo has embarked on a different journey, becoming the first link in a chain of sustainable technology. Here, the swing of hand axes has given way to the roar of power saws. Skilled workers wield modern equipment, felling towering stalks that stretch 15 to 20 meters toward the sky in just a matter of seconds. A glossy sheen on the outer skin, catching the hot sun, signals that the bamboo has achieved its ideal balance of strength and flexibility. With each precise cut, another stalk falls cleanly to the ground. Workers immediately trim the base and nodes, a small but vital step to prevent water from collecting and to ensure new shoots can regrow. Armed with a chainsaw, a single person can harvest up to 150 stalks an hour, a pace that far outmatches manual labor while maintaining precision. What seems like a challenge is, for these workers, simply a daily routine. The harvested stalks are gathered into massive bundles, transforming the entire forest into an open-air assembly line where humans and machines work in perfect harmony. For the bamboo, this harvest is not an end, but a crucial part of a closed loop where the green forest itself fuels the factory. A humble grass, now forged into the skeleton of a city, this transformation begins not in a factory, but with a crucial purification. Once harvested, mature stalks are meticulously treated to purge impurities and sticky resin, while their moisture content is brought into perfect balance. This vital process fortifies the bamboo, arming it against termites and the punishing elements of a construction site, dramatically extending its life. From there, the prepared bamboo enters the heart of the machine. It is fed into colossal hydraulic presses where a crushing force of 500 tons per hour, the weight of an entire train, bears down. 
Under this immense pressure, strips of bamboo are fused into solid, uniform boards. The plant is reborn, its natural grain preserved, but now possessing a mechanical strength that rivals many rare hardwoods. The newly formed boards glide onto automated cutting lines. Here, industrial blades descend with millimeter precision, shaping each piece to the exact specifications of architectural plans. Every edge is expertly smoothed and all surfaces are refined, eliminating any trace of roughness for a flawless fit in a clean visual aesthetic. This meticulous finishing ensures the bamboo boards are not just beautiful, but incredibly resilient. They are engineered to endure harsh weather, bear heavy loads, and withstand the rigors of daily use. Finally, the finished products are packaged and stored, ready to depart the factory and become the framework for a new generation of green buildings. From the forest to the city, the bamboo's natural cycle finds a new beginning, a sustainable symbol bridging tradition with innovation, proving that nature itself holds the blueprint for a resilient future. It grows toward the sun, yet its true power is unlocked in darkness and intense heat. Through a controlled inferno, bamboo is reborn as charcoal, a clean and sustainable biofuel poised to challenge our reliance on coal and firewood. The transformation starts as pre-treated bamboo tubes are carefully loaded into massive kilns, each capable of holding two to 300 pieces per batch. Every stalk is positioned vertically, with deliberate gaps left between them to ensure heat can circulate evenly, a critical step for producing high-quality charcoal. Once the kiln is full, its mouth is sealed with stone and cement, creating a closed reaction chamber. Only a few small vents remain, allowing gases to escape as the internal pressure and temperature are meticulously controlled. Fires are then lit, and for five to seven days, the heat is maintained in a precise range between 600 and 700 degrees. Within this intense environment, the bamboo's cellulose and lignin slowly break down, leaving behind solid carbon cores, the very heart of the charcoal. When the kiln is finally opened, what emerges is a glossy black material, smooth, solid, and uniformly colored, the unmistakable sign of perfect carbonization. A single kiln can yield two to three tons, enough to provide energy for thousands of homes. After cooling, the charcoal is either kept in blocks or ground into smaller pieces, depending on its final destination. Packaging is handled with care, using recycled craft paper bags or biodegradable materials that offer both strength and ecological mindfulness. Smaller packs of 250 to 300 grams are prepared for household use while larger sacks are sent to the food and energy industries. Beyond its role as a fuel, bamboo charcoal serves in water purification, deodorizing, cosmetics, and even medicine. Its natural absorption and antibacterial properties have made it a remarkably versatile material for the modern world. Where one element finds its strength in fire, another discovers its purpose in delicate form. When bamboo remains slender, it undergoes a different kind of transformation emerging as a simple, green, and practical tool, the bamboo straw. The journey begins with young bamboo, merely two to three years old, chosen for its natural strength and slim profile. These carefully selected stalks are cut into uniform lengths, their inner nodes meticulously cleared to create the smooth, hollow tubes that form the foundation of every straw. From the quiet of the forest, these small segments travel to bustling workshops. Here, they are neatly arranged on trays and subjected to a drying process at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. This crucial step not only hardens the material for greater durability, but also preserves its natural golden color, lending each straw a look that is both rustic and refined. Once dried, every piece is polished inside and out, a meticulous process that removes any rough edges and leaves a sleek, glossy surface. The ends are then carefully finished ensuring they are smooth and comfortable to the touch. Following this, the straws are washed in sterilized water to remove any lingering impurities. After a final drying at 25 degrees, they undergo a strict sorting regimen, guaranteeing that only those meeting the highest quality standards proceed. Some are even engraved by laser, adding a sharp branded detail before they are finally packed into sturdy, eco-friendly cartons. Each box is more than just protection, it is a final expression of a green commitment from the forest floor to the consumer's hand, a whisper of nature forged by the hum of modern machinery. 
Where bamboo straws infuse every drink with a touch of the wild, the bamboo spoon elevates each meal into something more refined, more connected to the earth. This is a world far removed from traditional handcrafting. Here, modern machinery guides every stage of creation, from the initial shaping and surface treatments to the final sterilization and drying. Automation is the key, a silent guarantee of quality, safety, and a light environmental touch. Every detail is precisely calibrated, resulting in a utensil that feels solid in the hand, with a smooth texture and an effortless comfort that enhances daily use. Suddenly, even a humble plate of pasta transforms, the meal becoming a quiet blend of function, natural beauty, and sustainable living. Once perfected, the spoons and forks proceed to the final packaging phase. In some facilities, human hands still carefully wrap each piece, while more advanced factories employ smart sensor robots to seal them in small, protective paper bags. These are then meticulously arranged into cartons, completing shipments destined for kitchens around the world. This marriage of modern manufacturing and natural material creates more than just a dining utensil. It stands as a testament to bamboo's boundless capacity for renewal, a simple tool serving humanity in countless ways. It begins with the simplest of elements, wood, earth, and salt. Yet their union is forged in a crucible of intense fire, giving rise to a seasoning unlike any other. The journey commences with bamboo, harvested at a precise three years of age. Skilled hands slice the stalks into manageable sections, each hollow chamber then packed tightly with raw sea salt before being capped at both ends with a seal of rich yellow clay. This earthen casing serves a dual purpose, cradling the salt within while forming a protective barrier that guards its purity against the transformative ordeal that awaits. Inside a massive clay furnace, the sealed bamboo tubes are meticulously arranged as the heat climbs to an astonishing 800, 1000 degrees, the bamboo itself is consumed by flame and the clay shell begins to fracture. What emerges is a darkened, solid block of salt, now infused with the essence of both the bamboo and the earth. Once the furnace has cooled, this hardened mass is carefully extracted, shattered into smaller pieces and ground down. But this is merely the first trial in a much longer cycle. The salt is packed once more into fresh bamboo, sealed again with clay, and returned to the inferno. With each repetition, the salt sheds more impurities while absorbing a greater concentration of valuable minerals like calcium, potassium, and iron. When the final passage through fire is complete, a glossy black salt block is left to cool. Workers then break it apart with hammers, grinding the fragments into fine, uniform crystals of remarkable purity. In every single grain, the brine of the ocean now mingles with the minerals of the forest and the soil, yielding a deeper flavor and a wealth of unique properties. It seems a simple plant, a gift from nature, but behind bamboo's rustic charm lies a sophisticated technological journey. Each stalk is carefully selected, cut, dried, and polished beginning its transformation into everyday objects like straws, spoons, and toothbrushes, or even advanced materials like biochar. Every stage of this process is meticulously controlled, a delicate dance between human expertise and the precision of modern machinery. Within China, this remarkable resource fuels a vast green production system, one that yields millions of eco-friendly products annually. Yet a critical question lingers, can this ancient grass continue to meet soaring global demand while remaining a truly sustainable choice for the future?